Friday morning. It is cold and windy again this morning, Michelle. It is. We have temperatures that are running below normal next few days. Let's take a look at the conditions. Newport camera this morning. Uh, we have over the bridge dry skies. We're confirming that on live Doppler radar are three key things today. It is much colder and will stay that way uh, right into the upcoming weekend and that Pats game still looking dry. You want to bundle up this great weather for New England players. Not so much in LA uh, that storm staying south and then it's dry to start next week. How about a seven to ten day stretch here with very little going on in New England uh, weather wise. Just a lot of cold air in Smithfield, 25 degrees right now. It's 27 North Kingstown feels like 16. Very, very dry air coming in today, and that will uh, keep us storm free. 28 in Westerly, about 17 what it feels like uh, there. And at Oakland Beach, you know, running in the teens for those feel like temperatures with winds still gusting between 20 and 30 miles per hour. And so that wind chill definitely a factor today. Going to be feeling around 9 degrees at 9 a.m. into the teens this afternoon and back to around 10 for the wind chill by 7 o'clock this evening. For the morning temperatures, we're going to climb from about 21 degrees at 7 a.m. up into the upper 20s at noon. The normal high is in the upper 30s, so a colder than normal stretch for us with high pressure building into the north. Our storm system that's been hanging around the last couple of days and generating those gusty winds for us finally gets shoved out to sea as this high builds in, and that will bring some lighter winds. It doesn't arrive during the day today, but this evening and tonight we're going to start to notice those diminishing winds. Here's the storm system we've been keeping an eye on all week just moving into the western part of uh, Texas. It's going to take a storm track that keeps it far to the south. Let's take a look at it. Three o'clock this afternoon and notice the absence of clouds here in the New England area. Dry high pressure going to be in control. 1130 tonight. See snow over the Midwest. We'll get some snow in northern Virginia, the D.C. area um, and even parts of the North Carolina mountains, but we are not expecting any here in New England. High pressure going to just assert its force here and keep that storm well out to sea for the daytime on Sunday. We'll get a little extra cloud cover from it, especially Sunday morning, but it does not look like we'll see any significant impacts from it. So this afternoon, I'm going to dress for again those chilly temperatures, upper 20s in Charlestown, Hope Valley, near 27 degrees. The temperatures across uh, Woonsocket, Johnston, Situate, running in the mid and upper 20s. Lots of sunshine, but it doesn't warm us up. We're cold and sunny in Fall River, New Bedford. Seekonk about 27 with the northwest wind at about 10 to 15 miles per hour for your evening hours starting off in the lower 20s and then those temperatures drop 18 at 11 o'clock at night and we'll see some low temperatures tonight between 10 and 15 degrees. I have us at around 12 early tomorrow morning. So a cold start to the weekend Saturday, 17 at 8 a.m., close to 30 in the afternoon. Sunday, pretty much a repeat, but again, a little more cloud cover around Sunday afternoon. Temperatures at tailgating time in the late morning, early afternoon will be around 22. Kickoff temperature, mid and upper 20s, and we'll be back into the mid 20s by the fourth quarter. For your Monday, cold and dry. Temperatures moderate a little bit in the middle of the week. Only other thing going on through Wednesday, oh, wrong graphic there, would be an isolated snow shower or flurry for your Wednesday afternoon as a cold front comes through. And you can see that the temperatures behind that cold front turn a little chilly.